Super Potato, the epic origin of Super Potato. An average day in the life of Super Max. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the handsomest superhero of them all? Attention, Super Max. Can you hear me? I hear you, General. What's going on? It's Doctor Malvolent. He's stolen a priceless statue from the city museum. Doctor Malvolent. I'll do my hair and fly right over. That Doctor Malvolent. He. He. Is always stealing things, and I always have to go and s- to his secret hideout, twat, twat him and return them. Super Max has been to doctor, the doctor's secret hideout so many times, it's not much of a secret anymore. Doesn't he get tired of this? He has to break down, break to break down the door every single time. Blam! Return the statue, Doctor Malvent. It doesn't belong to you. Ah, Super Max! I knew you would come, so I prepared a surprise. Peep, clank. Beep 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 beep. Shh, huh? Blam. Why, brother Malvin? You know the bars can't hold me. Eek. No, but they'll give me a chance to blast you with my ultimate weapon. <laughs> what have you done to? Me, my nose, my hair. I am. I am. I am a a potato. I have changed you into a potato. You aren't so brave without your seven hundred thirty-seven muscles, are you, Super Max? The average human body only has six hundred fifty muscles. But Super Max has eighty-seven more. Or should I call you Super Potato? You'll pay for this. Now run away, little potato, and tell the general that you, I won't be returning the statue. Find. Run, Super Potato. Run. Ha <laughs> ha. Normally, Super Max gives a few lumps to Doctor Malvolent, and that's that. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha 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 ha! But this time, our hero has lost the fight. A potato! I'm a potato! Super Max has not even not cried even once in the last fifteen years. But while Super Max may not cry, Super Potato cries like a baby surrounded by onions. Wah, wah, wah. Fifty-seven minutes later, sniff, sniff, sniff. I guess, I guess, I should head home. Sniff. If only I could still fly, but wait, he hasn't even tried. But Super Potato will have to try soon because, sigh, it's going to be a long walk. He heads across the street without looking first, which should, ne- which you should never. Do even if you're the world's saddest potato. But, but, I'm I'm fine. I've still got it. 
and my super strength? Yes! Grunt! Dr. Malvent, Malvent was right. I am Super Potato. And I'll show Malvent just how he was right. Just right how right he was. Somehow, I'll make him turn me back. This time, he's crossed the line. Super Potato is furious. Crash! I'm back, Dr. Malvolent. Dr. Malvolent? Where is he? Hmm. Dr. Malvolent has vanished without taking his stolen statue or e even turning the lights off. But where did he go? Hmm. Remember the last thing the evil doctor... Remember we last saw the evil doctor laughing evilly seven pages earlier. Ah ha 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 ha. So hard that he forgot to breathe. Gasp. <gasps> then he remembered. Squeak. Oh, I'm good. Cough, cough. I'm good. After recovering, Dr. Malviolent decided to treat himself with a super dinner at, to celebrate his super victory over Super Max. Tonight, we're, din we're din dining at the Golden Crab. I'll eat next to a rat. It won't even wear a tie. The world will deny me nothing, nothing. I won't even wear a tie. The world will deny me nothing, nothing. So the evil doctor hopped in his malviolent mobile, ready for a night of fine din dining. Eh heh heh. Ah ha ha ha. He arrived ready to gobble at least three lobsters and a platter of crab legs. Adore, my good man. Hello, Mr. Malviolent. Doctor. Table for a victorious supervin, please. Forgive me. But I see you're not wearing a tie, and there's a slight issue with your ahem, companion. Oh, no. Oh, no. An issue. Terribly sorry. Let me tell you something, Adore. You have the issue. Ha 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 ha. I think I'll have an octopus with potatoes. Mountains of potatoes. Yikes! Squeak! Meanwhile, first, I'll return the statue to the museum. Suddenly, Super Potato... Potato catches a glance of something he hasn't seen yet. Ah, his reflection. This is me? No, no. Oh, no. Can I get a over do over? Super Potato leaves the priceless statue on the nearest roof. I can't face Dr. Malviolent like this. Crash! What would people think? Super Potato has returned home. I must be swift. No time to lose. But what is our hero looking for in those boxes? Yes, it's here. The Dialogue Super Max action figure. 
The Duke Supermax action figure was a rare giant disaster in the successful career of Supermax. The toy hairpiece fell off easily, alarming many children and posing various safety issues. Official Supermax merchandise. Movable arms. Defective hair. Only $19.99. The action figure was taken off the market after the, a series of hair-related complaints. Super Potato has finally found a use for the facu- faculty hairpiece. Much better. And all I need now is a cape. Super Potato gets so busy fixing his look that he fails to notice the general's call. Supermax, where have you been? Who's the handsomest super? Who's the handsomest potato of them all? Doctor Malvolent is our is out of control. Look what he's done to me. Anyway, Super Potato. Better put on his cape, put his cape on fast because, ha ha, ah ha 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 ha, squeak, help, we need super max, ow, ah ha ha, I haven't had this much fun since they recalled super max's action toy figure, action figure, squeak. What? The price of statue? That's not possible. What's it doing up there? Squeak! This could only be the work of... No, it can't be. Squeak! No. Squeak! No. I tell you, no. No, I tell you. Squeak! Not him. No, no, no. You should pay more attention to your... to your rat, Dr. Malvolent. Ah! Phew. Super Potato only... Phew. Super Potato only took 38 minutes to put on a uniform together. I may have been a potato, but you're... you're the one who has... Who's going to get mashed? You sure? Zzzt. Ah! Outrageous. The beam doesn't do anything. Not my hair. Not hair. Not again. Not my hair. Not again. Let's finish this. Pow! Ow! Squeak! Yow! Punch! Take that. Enough, enough. I quit. Coward. Sure, fine. Just take it easy. Listen up, Malviolent. What's going on up there? What is that thing? It's a... a super potato. You're going to prison for what you have done. But first, go... You're going to... You're going to your hideout and you're building a de-potato ising beam. De-potato ising, or whatever you call it. You've done enough damage. Wait, what are you doing? Crash! Destroying this thing. My beam, it was brand new, just released. Bye bye. I despise you, Super Potato. I knew that already. Let's go. Good work. Bravo. Live long, Super Potato. Yay. Clank. Ten minutes later. Time to work, Malvolent. Malvolent. And remember, I'm watching you. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Malvolent works all night. What are you making? I've designed a release mechanism container. 
and all through the next night. What about no? The remote power flow control device. And all day. And now what are you making? I've made a pacanimal cell transmitter. And all through the next night. What about no? It's a remote power flow control device. On the second day, Super Potato has Super Potato and Dr. Malvolent fall asleep from exhaustion. But they're back at work before the morning. Before morning. Wake up, Malvolent. You have to finish the beam. Just a little more sleep. Soon they worked for day two days, then three, then four, then nine full days and nights. Now what are you making? The poison sinister pass me the hammer. And then at long last after three hundred seventy nine hours it's done. Let me see. Let me see. Here it is. That's the deep potato raising the beam. It kind of looks like it looks like what I have. It's my, what well, it is, my friend. A super extendable double egg remote control potato peeler. Zzz, you tricked me. Oh, what a shame. You won't get away with this. Squeak. I'm going to leave uh, you boiled and destroyed. Snip. Ah! There's no honor in what you do, malviolent. Or really, do tell. Ah ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha! Rrr, crash, blam! I have to get rid of that thing. Doctor Malvolent, in his quest to finish off Super Potato, ah ha ha! Doesn't see that he's trashing his own laboratory. Rrr, that is, that, that's it. Keep following me. And doctor and the doctor should be careful around his laboratory because if not sodom crush water. Hold on there. He's a scientist to explain what happens when sodom mixes with water. A can a can a chemical element sodium is high, highly unstable. Much certain people in the story, this react mechanism with water is 2NAS plus 2H20. 2NA0HAQ plus H2O. Well, anyway, that means you can pursue... Boom! Ah! An explosion! Explosion! Don't try this at home! Boom! Oof! Plop! Starting to... Starting to smell like a roasted potato! Ah! My cape! Ah! Super potato stops, drops, and rolls to put out the fire. What a disaster! But where's Dr. Malvolent? Over here. Squeak. Huh? Help me. Squeak. I can't believe it. You're asking for help from Malvolent? You can't. I can't believe it. You're asking help. You're asking for help, Malvolent? Yes. Hmm. I don't know. I can't think of a good reason not to leave you dangling up there. Please, please, squeak. Promise if I lower you that 
to the ground. You build that the potato is in beam and not trick this time. I I promise, but I promise, I promise. Squeak, but what? It's easy to make to transform a person into a potato, but turning a potato back into a person is practically impossible. Why? Are you go are you going to help me or not? I'm losing my grip here. And I am stuck this way forever. Am I stuck this way forever? I don't know. Do you don't know, please? Thank you, Super Potato. Squeak, be quiet. One month later, in prison, Dr. Malvalent has discovered his true calling, gardening. You sure you don't want to break out? No, no. You go. I'm good here. A group of scientists... A group of scientists is trying to create a deep potato using beam without much success. So far, we'll, we have only managed to turn a potato into a carrot. Hmm. And, thing, and things in the city are back to normal, more or less. Your turn, Adam. What do you think? What do I do? Now I'm a potato. Before you before you pick the, up the next super adventure of Super Potato, we must bring this one to a close. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the handsomest potato of them all? Super Potato, Big Jaw, and the Ferret have escaped from prison. We need your help. Yup, that's it. The end.